Cough Remedies in Africa Hi everyone! Welcome back to this channel. Today, our diaspora lens looks at the all too common coughs and colds. Coughs, nasal congestion, mucus and phlegms are common health issues almost everyone experiences lately. Croaky voice, hello. You sound horrible. Yes, I lost my voice. I can't talk right now, let's text to speech. Haha. <laughs> You get what I mean? Look, I believe that the colds and flu that we experience these days has more to do with the chilling cold season and the recent drastic weather patterns happening all over the world. These are all signs of global warming. Whether true or not, the health impact of the cold is being felt now more than previously. For example, temperatures are dropping far below the normal, or they rise, way above the expected. Drastic changes in our weather patterns contribute to common health problems. The flu and viruses seem to thrive in these low temperatures causing the common coughs and colds. So, this is what brings us to today's episode of the Diaspora Lens. African Traditional Remedies for Common Coughs and Colds The Diaspora Lens looks back to our African origins to see how common ailments and as cold and coughs are managed and treated. One traditional herbal plant is popular in Africa for treating these common colds and flu. This herb is known as the miracle leaf. This herb is commonly used in Ghana and other parts of the world. The miracle leaf has been successfully used for centuries. The scientific name for the miracle leaf is Bryophyllum pinnatum. Some Ghanaians refer to the miracle leaf as Abamoda in the U language. Most commonly used English name are Kalanko pinata or cathedral bells, air plant and life plant. This is how the plant looks Bryophyllum pinnatum. The plant is medium-sized and a succulent plant and can grow to about 2 meters tall. The stems are quite strong and stand vertical or slanted, erect to leaning erect. The Bryophyllum leaf size grows to about 20 centimeters long. They are often widely spaced and green in color. What makes this herb look miraculous is that it reproduces in two different ways. Just like other plants, it reproduces by seeds. But, quite uniquely is the ability to reproduce by the small plantlets that shoot out from along the edges of its leaves. That's quite amazing, isn't it? In Australia, the Bryophyllum pinnatum is also common in parts of Queensland and northeastern New South Wales. Here, it is used as a methanol extract that can inhibit H. pylori growth. As an antioxidant, it can treat gastric mucus or phlegms. How to use Miracle Leaf this is how Africans and those in Ghana normally use the miracle leaf to treat symptoms of colds and flu. Firstly, a few leaves are crushed in an earthenware bowl, using pesto. This process extracts the juice from the leaves. Because the raw leaves are bitter in taste, it is suggested to add a teaspoonful of sweet honey or some sugar candy to the miracle leaf juice. So, what about us on the diaspora? Can we also rely on miracle leaf extracts to cure common colds, flu and coughs? To answer this question, here is what I recommend. You see, coughs that have been ongoing for nearly a week need to be checked by your local doctor, in case there are other underlying health conditions. Asthma, flu, cold, bronchitis, and pneumonia are examples of conditions that can cause persistent coughs. These natural remedies are still effective in treating common coughs in Africa today. Coughs can be very uncomfortable. The mucus can block windpipes, nasal passage and can cause breathing difficulties. Now, let's look at the social dynamics of coughs. There are social aspects of common colds and coughs. Have you noticed that when you start coughing, people start to turn and look the other way? Persistent coughs tend to get other people concerned. And oh, these days, coughs and I mean, all coughs raise the alarm for COVID-19 symptoms. These assumptions and social attitudes to cough causes some people to feel particularly anxious, excessively self-conscious. For others, the anxiety levels go up as that nasty cough or sneeze rushes up the throat whilst in public. So what happened to the freedoms of coughs and the good old sneeze? I believe that grandma can tell you this, a good cough can clear all those phlegms. Free up your airways so you can start breathing better again. Home. Well, here is a socially ethical way to cough. You can cough and sneeze into your elbow, like so. 
You can also cough into tissue and flush it down, or an appropriate trash bin. This can help prevent the spread of COVID-19 in case you are infected. Common coughs do impact on our physical energy. Which is why for most people, after having ongoing coughs for several days, they begin to ache and tire easily. You share with us how you feel after a few days of having colds and coughs. And also, share with you how you are managing these coughs and colds this season. Are you using traditional herbs? Do you notice how quickly you get better using miracle leaves? Or how effective is your over-the-counter cough mixture? Share your feedback with us. The Therapeutic Goods Administration TGA, demands that all medicines are correctly labeled with information on content made visible for reference. So, until my next video on aspects of African diaspora living, keep working on your own natural herbal content. Thank you for listening to today's session. If you enjoyed, kindly like and share, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until my next episode, it's bye for now.